Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit T-Rex 3 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your phone on your watch. First thing we need to do is to uh, make sure that the devices are paired together because if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone. So make sure your devices are paired and once they're paired together we can continue and now we need to uh, make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the notifications to send the or rather for the application to send the notifications to your watch. And to do that you can open the Zep application. In the app uh, you if you don't have required permissions, you will see the pop-ups on the screen, for example this one, and you can tap on allow to allow them, like this. But also if you tap on uh, device and then scroll down, find the notifications and reminders, tap on it, and then tap on notifications, you will see the pop-ups, or rather the warning messages in specific categories that you don't have the required permissions allowed for the notifications to work. And if you see such warning messages, you need to tap on them, tap on OK, and then tap on Allow. And once you allow the required permissions, you will be able to turn on the notifications. And you can do the same for the uh, incoming calls. As you can see, we still, we're still missing some uh, permissions. You can tap on them to allow them. And also for the incoming SMS. Okay, so uh, once you enable all of the permissions or allow all of the permissions, you have three types of notifications. We have app notifications, incoming calls, and incoming SMS. First, let's deal with the app notifications. We can turn them on by tapping on the switch, tap on got it, OK. And here we have the uh, options for our app notifications. And we have silent notifications uh, during phone DND mode. So if the uh, do not disturb mode on your uh, phone is enabled, the notifications will be silent. Uh, notify only when the phone is locked. If you enable this option and your screen on your phone is uh, unlocked, it's basically on, uh, the notifications on your watch won't be popping up. So if you enable this option uh, and for some reason you don't see notifications on your watch, it's probably because you're using your phone in the moment and uh, you will need to lock the screen for them to start popping up on your watch. Um, next we have a uh, quick response management and here you can basically add edit uh, the quick responses for the text applications and then you have the list of applications and here you can turn on or off the notifications for specific apps and how it works is basically if you enable the notifications let's say for discord and you receive the notification from discord on your uh, phone that notification will be also sent to your uh, watch if you disable it it won't be sent to your watch so you will see it only on your phone okay then we can go back, tap on incoming calls, and here we can turn on or off the notifications about the calls. Uh, what else we can do is to enable or disable the option to show contact information. So basically, if you see the pop-up about the call on your watch, it will display the information of the contact if it's, if it's one of your contacts. And then we have the auto SMS reply, and you can manage the SMS reply right here. Replies, replies rather. Uh, you can edit them, add new ones, and stuff like that. And next we have the delay alerts and you can basically delay the call alert. And if you enable this option, you can tap here to set the delay and you can select the delay you like. And how it works is basically, let's say somebody is calling you on your phone. A watch will basically wait, in my case, 15 seconds and then it will start uh, reminding me about the call. So it will vibrate and display who's calling me on my phone. Okay, then we have the last option, incoming SMS. And here we can turn on or off the notification for the messages. And once you're done, uh, your notifications should be uh, working. So I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord and we'll see if we receive it on our watch. Interesting, we didn't even receive it on our phone. Let me see if I'm logged in into Discord. I am, so we should be getting the notifications. Let me check the do not disturb mode. It is turned off. Let me turn it on and off and see if it's gonna help. 
I'm just gonna write some gibberish. Oh, it helped. So something was bugging out with the do not disturb mode. And as you can see, now we got the notification on our phone. And we also got it on our watch, which means it is working. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video. Thank you.